Luxembourg is one of the only countries in Europe where corruption is not seen as a major problem. This is according to a recent Eurobarometer report. When given the statement by Eurobarometer, corruption is a major problem in your country, the percentage of replies that agreed varied greatly across Europe. Denmark was the lowest at 22%, followed by Sweden at 37%, and Luxembourg at 45%, showing less than half of those interviewed in those countries believe that corruption was an issue. This is in stark contrast with the other end of the scale, where the figures was 96% for Hungary, 97% for Bulgaria, and 98% for Greece. Many protest banners were held up by activists of the Vote on Klina initiative involving 30 NGOs yesterday in front of the state ministry. To the great surprise of the protesters, Prime Minister Jean-Claude Juncker came to greet them. If Votum Klima waited until the EU commits the 40% lower emissions of greenhouse gas, the effects would be evident by 2020. The Prime Minister preferred to aim for 30% at the negotiations in Copenhagen. US President Barack Obama is due to receive his Nobel Peace Prize later today. White House Director of Speechwriting, John Favreau, told reporters that Obama would speak solemnly about the odd coincidence of accepting the revered prize a week after ordering 30,000 troops to Afghanistan in a major war escalation. Obama is expected to put the finishing touches to his speech while he flies across the Atlantic overnight before a day of ceremonies in Oslo, protected by the biggest ever security operation rolled out by the Norwegian government. <laughs>